every time the United States takes an action in a foreign country, we don't control the messaging of what happens after that action. Right. Local press, local politicians, local, local whatever, leaders, they all shape whatever happened into the narrative or into the messaging that creates a narrative. The same thing is happening here in the United States. Here's one of the things that pisses me off so much, and, and I'm not trying to jump ahead. Go for it. How often do you come across a headline that talks about some stupid battlefield victory that Ukraine has over Russia? The other day I was flipping through my, my, my news feed and I saw a two pound a two pound Ukrainian drone downs a Russian helicopter. <laughs> They have a video too? Uh, probably. <laughs> but I see this stuff all the time, right? What that is, is a message. Yeah. It's sending a message to get us like, hoorah, go democracy. Why? Because the messaging we've been told about Ukraine is that they're fighting for democracy. So when we see a news report that says something stupid about, you know, oh, uh, Russia lost 25 tanks in this, in this assault on a village or Russian helicopter shot down by two pound drone. Those are all just little pieces of a message an emotional message is supposed to get us gung-ho to so that we click. I'm not saying it's a government conspiracy. We're just supposed to click on the article. But you see this stuff come across, and none of those individual messages are painting an accurate picture of what's happening between Russia and Ukraine. Like, they're, they're marching towards stalemate at best, yes. and Russia gaining more ground at worst. So why are we seeing clip, like these headline bait, uh, clickbait talking about these stupid battlefield victories because we're in the United States and our local news in the United States, our American English language news is what dictates what we see and how we view the world. The same thing happens in Yemen. The same thing happens in Iran. The same thing happens in Saudi Arabia. The same thing happens in China. The same thing happens in Japan. Their, their local national language, press and newspapers are what dictate what they see and the lens yeah. that those people see the world through as well. So it's we... We can literally be the same human beings with completely different lenses on how we view the world, not because we're trying to be ignorant, not because we're not seeking the truth, but just because the only information available to us in our own language is being shaped by a media source that's either state controlled or commercially controlled. And the commercially controlled is just gonna say whatever they need to say to get a click. Yeah.